Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm just lounging around in my big comfy sweater because it's been a hot minute since I sat down and spoke to you guys about some skincare. If you are new face here, then hi. My name is Haley. I am so glad that we're finally meeting. I mean, it's about time. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you don't mind seeing more of me. I don't want to go rambling into my skincare routine in every single one of these videos, but if you guys are interested to see it, I'm just going to post like a whole skincare playlist on my channel so you can go check that out, watch all my previous videos. So today's video is actually going to be the fourth video in the skincare series and we're going to be talking about something so highly requested makeup some disclaimers this video is not going to be a video on how to cover acne it's going to be a video on what products to use for your skin so that you don't get acne in the first place so yes many people know that there are different reasons for acne a lot of them are also internal as well as external but here's somebody that can actually vouch for you guys through pictures that what you put on your skin has such a big effect on your acne and your scarring and the reoccurrence of it coming back so first step is that you obviously want to prep your skin in the morning when I wake up I just go ahead and I apply some cold water to my face I don't use any soap I don't wash it I don't cleanse it at all that's usually enough if my skin is ever feeling extra really dry then I go ahead and I apply just like one or two drops of my grapeseed oil I spoke about this in my skincare routine if you do want more information on that but usually I just go in with a blank face I don't put on anything and the main reason as to why that's okay is because my base has it all this is probably out of everything I'm gonna show you the biggest game changer for me and the thing that just made the most difference when it came to my skin so the it cosmetic CC cream if you're a part of the whole YouTube world then you've definitely seen the beauty gurus suggesting the heck out of this but it's not that I fell into the trap I've honestly been doing my research and this has so many amazing benefits and so many different steps that it covers because I'm a really lazy person and I just like to like throw my makeup on and get out of the house as fast as possible it's a moisturizer it's a serum it's a primer it's a foundation it's a concealer and you guys know how important skin health is to me and this has SPF 50 already in it which is incredible because you don't need to apply SPF by yourself and I know it totally looks like I'm trying to sell this right now but I'm just telling you how it is Honestly, this is the one product that I've used on my skin that has never broken me out. I've been using this consistently for four or five months now. Never has this broken me out in like those little white pimples and bumps that my other foundations used to. And I guess the reason as to why it's been so successful on my skin is because when you look at the ingredient list, you can see that there's no crazy amounts of like silicone or anything like that that they put in like most drugstore and high-end products. Don't get any products that have like excessive amounts of um, silicone, dimethicone. Make your skin look smooth and great and they may be like water resistant and stuff. All it does is act like a plastic wrap and sheath on your skin it keeps all the bacteria in and it doesn't let your skin breathe and that's what causes all the congestion that causes acne flare-ups especially those acne flare-ups that a lot of people get under the skin like those cystic bumps so definitely avoid that if you're looking for foundations so to apply the makeup because of the fact that it's kind of consistency like a cream I do tend to use my hands bacteria does transfer onto your skin and that's a big reason for breakout and acne as well so you just want to clean these little guys with some 70% rubbing alcohol and this is just something that I always do and I just incorporate it into my routine and it just kind of guarantees me that I'm clean so I just take a little bit of the alcohol spray right on the cotton swab and then I go ahead and after washing my hands I just like rub the little pads on my fingers that I'm gonna be using to apply the actual makeup after doing that and my fingertips are all clean I just take the CC cream and I just squirt a little pump of it right on my finger and then I just start dabbing it away on my skin I feel like the CC cream applies best with a blending brush and you guys want to be washing your brushes at least once a week you don't want the germs to be spreading and creating little colonies all over your face next up is obviously concealer and this is almost done I have to go buy more so I actually use the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 20 it's actually really funny because the Maybelline fit me foundation breaks me out like crazy but the Maybelline concealer has been amazing I understand that I say it won't break you out everybody's skin is different I can never guarantee that a product is gonna be a certain way for your skin take everything with a grain of salt this is my experience this is exactly what I found good and great for my face that's it okay that's just like my little disclaimer there and what I use to blend out that concealer is just my beauty blender often how do most people use their beauty blenders they just go ahead and they like squeeze it under a sink and they get it like all soft and fluffy and then they go ahead and they start applying their makeup or whatever I just went to the dollar store and I picked up one of these clear little spray bottles and inside I put filtered bottled water it's filtered out from all those bacteria and nasty things that you don't want in your water so what I do is I just take off my little cap and I go ahead and I just spray my beauty blender get it like nice and damp if anything doing this also allows your beauty blender to dry much faster which is also a good tip so I just do that get my beauty blender wet 
and go ahead and blend in all my concealer. And when you're done with your beauty sponge, the absolute last thing you want to do is just take it and place it down somewhere dusty and dirty. So when I found this for like two bucks online, I got so excited. This has honestly solved the whole issue of like letting your beauty blender dry in a gross place. And I can link it down below if you guys are interested in it, but this has been amazing. It's been so perfect. And guys, please don't think I'm like a germaphobe. I'm really not. Like, I don't care to share drinks with somebody. That is not something that bothers me at all. But when it comes to acne, acne, especially when it comes to external skincare, it's all related to bacteria. Acne is bacteria. You want to eliminate the most bacteria you can. And just taking these little tips and doing these little steps honestly just helps you ensure that you have a whole clean process when doing your makeup routine. You may have thought that the rest of this video is going to be crazy long, but honestly, the next four things, I'm going to talk about them all at once. First things first, if you're somebody who is acne prone, you already know that you should be using powdered makeup over cream makeup. So cream contours, cream blushes, stuff like that tend to be more acne prone because they're usually more oily, have more silicone in it, that kind of stuff. So it's better to avoid cream products. Powder products is your way to go. Probably for the last year or two, you can go check my old makeup tutorials, has been Physicians Formula Powders. They are incredible, specifically the talc-free mineral powders. I'm disclaiming, I am not sponsored by Physicians Formula. I was never sponsored by Physicians Formula. I would happily be sponsored by Physicians Formula. But the main reason as to why I'm sharing them is because when it comes to someone who is sensitive and acne prone, this is what you want to be using. Mainly because they are talc free. Talc is known to be irritating for your skin and irritation is definitely not something you want when you have acne and it's also very pore clogging as well and that's a big no-no. So these are actually talc free. They're good when it comes to an everyday basis. And the way that I apply them is just uh, using different makeup brushes. If I'm going like to a wedding and I want to be all glammed up, I wouldn't be using these products. But for an everyday basis, simple makeup look, that is definitely what you want to be using. And that's it you guys, that's all I have to say when it comes to makeup and my makeup routine. I told you I wasn't going to include like mascaras and lipsticks, eyeliners, anything like that because that's not what the point of this video is. I just really wanted to show you guys the couple of products that I've tried and tested and I can tell you they haven't broken me out and I've been using them consistently each for at least four months. So if you guys are interested in trying out any of these products, be sure to check them out. I'm going to link them all down below. And if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot on this channel. If you guys do have any suggestions or amazing products that worked out for you when it comes to acne and skincare, be sure to comment them down below. I really love these cozy conversations here in my little corner. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to join our awesome fam and hit up the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new weekly or more video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly love you forever and always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you.